Hey guys. So today I will be analyzing、uh, a speech by Prince Ea, and it is called "Man vs. Earth." So this speech is about us, human, cutting down trees, harming our environment, and burying our own future. And he talks about how humans have damaged our planet Earth, and the only planet that full of life. And he encouraged everyone to get up and do something about it. And today I will be analyzing the speech and talk about what strategy and techniques it used to inspire and persuade people. Now here's the link if you want to watch the whole video yourself, since I won't be talking about the whole, the every single detail and lines of his speech. Now let's begin. Fun fact: Planet Earth is 4.5 billion years old. Mankind. About 140,000 years old. Let me put that in perspective. If you condense the Earth's lifespan into 24 hours, that's one full day. Then we have been here on this planet for, drum roll please, three seconds. Three seconds. And look what we've done. So right off the bat, Prince Ea opens up his speech with an interesting fact to draw the audience's attention. And this fact will probably shock a lot of people because. Most most of the people think that we have been here for a long time, and yet we have done so many terrible things to harm our environment. We have modestly named ourselves Homo sapiens, meaning wise man. But is man really so wise? Smart, yes, and it's good to be smart, but not too smart for your own good. So here he used rhetorical question. When Prince Ye said that too smart for your own good is not okay, he successfully points out. And question whether or not human is wise. Then he used facts or logical argument to prove his point. He gave two example. One is split of the atoms, and two is the technology to navigate the universe and find a second home, which are two example that sounds good and sounds positive on the surface. But then he said, "Yes, we have split the atom." Yes, we build clever machines that navigate the universe in search of new homes. But at the same time, those atoms we split created nuclear warfare. In our quest to explore the galaxy, rejects and neglects the home that we have here now. So no, that cannot be wisdom. So notice that Prince Ea first used、um, two positive example to prove that human is smart, and use it, but also use it against the statement of human are wise at the same time. Prince Ye logically used facts to prove his point that human thought they were、uh, wise, but they are actually not, and they are harming themselves with that wisdom. Wisdom knows that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if we were wise, we would not be shocked when we see storms that are stronger than ever before, or more drought, hurricanes, and wildfire than ever before, because there's more pollution than ever before, more carbon, more trees cut down than ever before. So here he first claims that wisdom knows every action have equal and opposite reaction. Then proves that human are not wise because if human were wise, we should know that destroying and harming our environment will have consequences and bring catastrophes such as more drought, more hurricane, such things like that. Here, Prince Ye also used this chance to address the problem of environmental destruction such as more pollution, and those problems happen because of human. And he also used the phrase "than ever before" as repetition to emphasize the seriousness of these problems. At a record pace, we have increased the extinction of animals by 1,000 times the normal rate. What a feat! In the next 10 to 100 years, every beloved animal character in every children's book is predicted to go extinct. Lions gone, rhinos gone, tiger, gorilla, elephant, polar bear gone. In three seconds. So this is called. Emotional argument with statistics and facts. So when you make an emotional connection,、uh, you will make a person believe in someone what they have to say. Because if you make an emotional connection, that means they probably care about it and it is important to them. So here,、um, Prince Ye knows that、um, people care about animal, and he uses it as his advantage to convince people that humans are doing horrible things. To cause animals to go extinct in this short period of times, in three seconds. So finally, he pointed out what is the actual problem. 
Literally everything, every species is connected genetically from the sunflower to the sunfish. And this is what we must recognize before it's too late because the real crisis is not global warming, environmental destruction, or animal agriculture. It is us. These problems are symptoms of us, byproducts of us, our inner reflection. Loss of connection has created this misdirection. We have forgotten that everything contributes to the perfection of Mother Nature. Corpora so he finally clearly makes his point. So the real problem is human has already been separated from the mother nature and the animals. And I gotta admit, it does feel that way. Because humans have already civilized and feel not part of the mother nature anymore. And because of that, people like big corporations would do such terrible things to harm the, our environment. And Prince EA wants us to understand that we are the problem. We are the roots of these problems. And we should care about it and f try to fix it because these problems also affect us. Then at the end, he en encouraged actions. Let's take a look. But it has been said that something as small as the flutter of a butterfly's wing can cause a typhoon halfway around the world. But when enough people come together, we too will make waves and watch the world into a new era filled with love and connection, freedom for all without oppression. But it is up to you, yes, you watching this behind this screen to make the effort because time is of the essence and only together can we make it to the fourth second. So here he first used butterfly effect to show us that we can also come together to achieve great things. Then he directly pointed to the audience who has been watching this video and says that this is all up to you. So this directness can be used as a technique to inspire people. At the end he says so we can make it to the fourth second which brings back to his main theme which is the three second. So this is his speech about environmental destruction and at the end he proposed his solution and he says that he has been supporting a organization called stand for trees which can improve the problems that we have now and this video sure inspired a lot of people with over 2 million views on youtube and went viral or on social media platforms such as facebook people in this comment section saying that they want to address this problem and support to solve it Stanford Streets have received huge amount of support because of this. So this is my speech analysis video. Thank you for watching.